What's up, everybody? This is Gibbatron09, and today is E3, and I just figured I would talk about a little story that I had about um, how I could have gone to E3 last year, and um, what that would have meant is, I think what they did is they gave away some of the new Xbox 360s to everyone who went to E3, and uh, that would have been cool, but um, the situation was, last year I was working for a gaming site known as FantasyGaming.com. Um, nowadays, it's no longer up because um, a lot of people... Uh, you know, kind of ditched. But um, what I did, I used to work there, and what I did was I had to focus on school, so I had to just stop working there. But I was basically the, the third up on the site. It was a small site, but um, we had enough viewers and enough reviews and advertisements to um, work for E3. And what was cool is we actually had um, associations with Xseed um, and Atlas, and then what they were doing, they were giving us uh, free copies of games to review. Um, I was offered a few of these copies, but at the time I didn't have any of the systems that they were giving the, the copies for, like uh, the PSP and um, the PS3. I didn't have either of those. And I don't have a PS3 now, but I do have a PSP now. And um, if they were still doing that, I probably could have got some games. But what I did get was some indie games for the 360. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Breath of Death 7. It's a uh, 360 indie RPG that I was given a copy to review. But um, anyway, I was invited to go to E3 because the... Uh, the owner of the site wasn't able to go, and nor was the uh, second second up because he uh, was from the UK. So what he told me was I could go to to E3 to represent the site. But obviously, um, I was 15 years old at the time, and there was no way of me doing that. And um, but it would have been cool, and now it's one of my dreams to go to E3. But uh, yeah, I figured it was just kind of a relevant story for today. Uh, just kind of, I figured it'd be kind of interesting, but. Um, yeah, there are a lot of opportunities working for a gaming site, and there are some small ones out there that if you just, you know, give it a shot, um, it's a really fun experience. Um, I wrote about eight reviews for the site from, we, we started off as a site just for, on games in general, um, and then I tried to bring a, a retro feel to the site, adding some more retro games, which we started to do, and then we ended up going as an RPG-only site, which is fine with me because RPG is my favorite genre, but um, once we did that, that's when we started getting the... Um, the Atlas associations, and they were giving us games, you know, like different stuff. And I think we got um, NAS America and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, it was kind of a cool experience working for the site. I had to stop because I had to focus on schoolwork. Not that it was affecting my schoolwork negatively, but it was just a lot of work that I had, and I had to, you know, make my decisions uh, of which, which one my priority was. And in order to go to E3, I would have had to have missed uh, finals for school, which is obviously not an option. But, um... Yeah, I just figured I'd share that story with you. I uh, thought it'd be maybe a little interesting, but um, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys later.